Hi friends, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a layout and further customize it and also how you can insert widgets into the layout boxes. So let's check out the layout menu up here. When you click on layout, you will see this menu here on the right side show up where you can insert different kinds of pre-made layout templates. We have layout templates with two boxes. We have um, layout boxes with three boxes, four, five, six, seven, and so on. Then to insert a pre-made layout to the right side, you can click anywhere here on the right side on the template and then select a layout and it will insert it into that side. The same goes for the left side. If you want to edit the left side, click anywhere here on an empty space and then you can select the pre-made layout and it will insert it into that side. Now below here, you will have the option to further customize the layout or the paddings on the sides. So if you, for example, want to add some space here on top, you can click here on the top padding and for example, set it to 0 0.5. And this will make the gap up here exactly 0 0.5 inches. If you want to set the bottom padding to a specific measurements, you can type it right here. Um, for example, if you want to set it to 0 0.5 as well, just type in 0 0.5 and you will see it will apply the measurements to the template. The same goes for the outer padding. The outer padding would be this padding here on the outer sides of the template. If you want to set it to 0 0.4 inches, for example, just type in 0 0.4 and there you go. The same for the inner padding. The inner padding is the padding between the left and the right side here on the inner side. If you want to have it set, for example, to 0 0.7, then just type it in. And now uh, this padding here will be 0 0.7. So let me show you. This padding right here will be 0 0.7 on the right side as well. Now that you know how you can adjust the paddings and margins on the sides, let's quickly jump back to the layout. If you, for example, want to adjust or customize the widget boxes itself, you can also click here on edit layout to set it to on. And then you will have the option to further add widget boxes to the layout. If you want to add an additional column here within these two columns here, you can click on the widget box and then you will see this plus button show up. And then to add a box to the right side, you can click on this button here, which will add you a column to the right side. Or you can also add a column to the left side, or you can also add some space to the top. Then to add a new widget box, you can click on any white field and then click on add and this will add you a new box. If you see the arrows showing up here, this means that you can further extend the widget box to the bottom or to the top for this widget here. And this will extend the widget like this. Okay, same here. You can click on the arrows to extend it like this. And then here in the middle, you can also add a new widget box. To erase the widget boxes, uh, you can click on the minus button, the blue minus button in the middle, and this will remove the widget box for you. So if you want to remove the widget box right here, click on it, then click on the minus button in the middle and remove it like this. Let me quickly bring back the widgets. Okay. Now let's say you want to make certain widget boxes bigger or smaller. You can click here on the fractions which are showing on top of the template and also on the sides. To make, for example, the first column here bigger, you can click on the one fraction measurement here to have this menu show up and then you can increase it by clicking on the plus or minus button and increasing or decreasing the measurements. If you want a column to be set to a specific size, such as 1.5 inches, what you can do is click on inch and then type in 1.5 like this. 
and now the first column here is 1.5 inches wide. The same goes for the heights. So if you, for example, want this widget right here to be 1.5 inches high, you can click here on the height measurement right here, type in 1.5 and set it to inches. Now this first row here is 1.5 inches high and then it's also 1.5 inches wide for the first box here. If you want to remove certain columns and rows, let's say you want to entirely remove this last column right here, you can click on that fraction and then click on this red button right here and click on delete and this will delete the column for you. Um, if you want to delete the one down here below, you can do the same. Select it and click on the red button and click on delete like this. Okay, like this. Now that you know how to edit and customize the layout, let's move on to the widgets. Let me quickly select a layout with maybe two widget boxes to keep it simple in this tutorial. Okay, now let's say you want to add a to-do list to the first box. You can select the first widget box and then on the right side you will have a menu with tons of widgets you can select from. You can insert, um, for example, blank widgets. You can insert dotted widgets or notes widgets like you see here with grids. You can add um, lined widgets or you can add the to-do list. And then for every widget you insert into the template, that widget you can also further edit. So here down here below, you will see a menu show up where you can further customize the widgets. Now here, this one's the to-do list. Here you can further customize the color of the to-do list. So let me show you, you can further change the outline color. The outline color would be the color around the widget that is wrapping the widget. You can change it here, for example, to yellow or to orange like this. And then you can also change the header color. And you can also change the line color. Then besides this, you can also further customize the header. So the header text you can type in, for example, to do list. You can also remove the headers if you don't wish to have one. And then for this specific widget, you will also be able to choose an icon you want to have in the to-do list. We have different icons to choose from hearts, circles, rectangles or squares, and other types of icons. You can also customize them, make them bigger or smaller. And then there are a few more settings you can apply to this widget. For example, increasing or decreasing the rows like this. And then to add a second widget, just select the next widget box. And then again, choose the widget you want to insert into this field. You can also add a calendar where you can further choose the month of the calendar. Then you can also add, for example, trackers, finance trackers, um, a matrix, or you can add habit trackers or trackers. And you can also add columns. And then you can also add lists or time schedules like this one here. And then again, to customize the widgets, check out the menu down here below where you can further customize it. Now, this one's the daily schedule widget. So here you have the option to set the widget to maybe start at 5 a.m. and finish at 8 p.m. like this. And then you can also remove the sticker side, which is this blank column here, set it to none. And there you go. And then maybe you can also rename it to schedule. Then you can also write within the widgets. So if you want to add some text into the widget, 
make sure the edit layout menu is deselected like this. Then you can click within a row and this menu right here will show up. In here you can write something new, for example, get groceries like this. And then you can choose to have the text aligned to the side, to the middle or to the right side. And you can apply text to any row you see here. You can also add text to this row right here. Type in something new, for example, wake up like this. Or down here, um, prepare dinner. And this is how you can further edit and customize the widgets or add texts into it. If you want to swap widgets, for example, uh, swap the position, you can also drag one widget to the other one and they will swap the positions like this. As mentioned, we have many different kinds of widgets you can insert. So I recommend you to maybe play around with them see how they look like and then also play around with the settings so you can learn what each widget does and also how you can apply it to your own custom planners.